Hey ladies, today I decided to do something that I don't think I have done before uh, over the past couple of years while, while TTCing. I have done a lot of uh, videos about my two week weight, my ovulation test, and I did um, one or two pregnancy tests, but I didn't do it live. So I decided to do to do a, a live uh, video test and I have my first response test with me and um, today I am on cycle day 24 25 and I am on 10 dbo I'm gonna try to, to not to talk so loud because my kids are around and uh, they get very suspicious when I am uh, making videos if I don't tell them what's going on and I gotta tell you guys I just don't like it at all uh, I am not telling anybody nobody knows about me uh, back into TTCing so the kids they don't know and I feel so bad about it because every time I do a test I'm hiding it and I don't want them to see if I'm watching videos about TTCing so I don't like it at all so anyway I will do the test and now uh, we can uh, chat while I'm doing this so I know this takes forever but I did three tests already I know I know I said I wouldn't do a pregnancy test this cycle I would just take it easy and just forget about it, everything and just let it go if it happens it happens if it doesn't happen then I'll have my period then I will know doesn't happen like that if you've been TTCing you know what I'm talking about so anyway I have my urine down here and you don't have to look at it and I'm gonna put it two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen fifteen and one two three for good luck so this is it this is my test and it is oh the lighting is no good it's working and i'm gonna leave it here upside down i don't have to look at it and uh, just here oh white countertop white test so anyway this is it guys so um today i am on cycle day 25 and uh, i am on um 10 dpo i started testing since 7 dpo why i have absolutely no idea that's the way i am for the past uh, few few months when I was uh, trying to conceive that's what I did I would start testing from uh, a DPO so um, there's not much to talk about except I didn't write anything at all I've been trying not to drive myself crazy not to take any notes whatsoever but I uh, I've been feeling a few things that I have felt before, but since four or five DPOs, I think I was in the washroom and I had this cramp. It felt like I was going to have my period. I'm not gonna say it's different. I always say that, oh, it's different than the month before. Uh, no, no, I, um, it really strange. I didn't have that the month before, two months before. I can't even remember if I have ever had a feeling like that. I felt like I was really going to have my period. And that was that. And um, I had that two more times again. And um, once I felt under my uh, armpit, I felt this kind of pain, but just like this, gone. And I have not felt it ever again so uh, today I uh, woke up I did my thing I've been watching the Olympics since last night I'm a big fan and uh, I was uh, lying in bed and feeling exhausted and uh, I just fell asleep and usually I am not 
a person who would sleep in the middle of the day. I am not. I just cannot sleep during the day because my brain works over time. I'm always thinking, oh my God, maybe I have to do this, maybe I have to do that. So uh, I fell asleep and I woke up maybe an hour later and I still felt very, very tired. I wanted to sleep some more. So I don't know if it's because of the heat. It's been uh, pretty hot in here and uh, especially inside of the house. It's It's really hot. So it could be the heat and I also was in the sun the whole day yesterday watching my son playing soccer. So it could be that. So that's about it. I do not feel anything at all. I do not check my cervix anymore. I have not done this, done this for the past at least six months. So um, I don't know. I uh, never thought I would be uh, so excited to uh, take a test. I have uh, tested on 7, 8, 9 DPO and also this morning and uh, they all came back negative and let me show you. And I took the cheapies and uh, I don't like them very much. I had really bad experience with them. So this one is from, uh, oh my goodness. This one is from uh, 7 DPO. You can see it is the best negative you have ever seen. The clearest negative. And this is 8. You can see there is absolutely nothing. I've been looking at them, looking at them. There is nothing. And um, this is from this morning so I showed you 8, 9 and 10 this morning and uh, you know it's pretty it's pretty negative to me so why I decided to do a test with uh, first response I think I use first response once or twice over the past two years just because I said yes they are more expensive I just bought this box with two of them for $21.99, $22 plus tax, it's like $24, $25 for just two tests when you can get these for just $1.25 at the dollar store. But I, I thought, you know what, it's just money. I just uh, would like to just test it out. I know it's going to be negative. But I just wanted to see, you know, on a 10 DPO if uh, something is happening, can you find out? on uh, this so oh my god yes it's been almost five minutes so i have the test here and let's see it's definitely oh the control line is pretty there so you can see guys i haven't looked at it but i have a feeling there is no faint line there is no faint line let me check this out sorry guys here I am. Mm -hmm. The light. You can blame it on the light. Mm -hmm. there is, there's nothing. I wish. I just wish. Other side. You know you have to go all four corners. You know this way. That way. And here. So anyway, it is a pretty negative. The light is horrible. It's almost, it's 7.30, almost 8 o'clock. It's getting dark. But anyway, I'll leave it and take another look at it maybe in the next five minutes. So this is it, guys. It is a negative. I thought I would not get excited. I thought I would just wait until I have my period. But, you know couldn't wait thank you again guys i will test again tomorrow if anything comes up i will let you know bye